Overnight, California's coast has risen nearly two meters. Beaches, harbors, and cliffs now stand higher than before, leaving scientists stunned and searching for answers. New data from NASA this morning shows some communities in the South Bay shifting toward the ocean. Radar from JPL reveals the land slipping toward the ocean by as much as four inches per week. Imagine standing at the edge of California's world-famous coastline, the Pacific stretching out vast and restless before you, and seeing the unimaginable. The land beneath your feet, once familiar and steady, now stands nearly two meters higher than it did just yesterday. Iconic beaches, Santa Monica, Malibu, Half Moon Bay, suddenly overlook a new landscape. Their gently sloping sands perched sharply above the advancing surf. In harbors from San Francisco to Los Angeles, container ships designed to glide seamlessly into port sit awkwardly on exposed mudflats. Cargoes paused in limbo as dock workers survey a seascape transformed beyond recognition. GPS sensors and satellite feeds measuring every movement down to millimeters echo the same message in unmistakable terms. The California coast has shifted vertically, lifted in a single, inexplicable event. No warning rumble shook the ground, no massive wave thundered ashore, and no plume of ash betrayed volcanic unrest. Scientists and government officials, supported by the most advanced monitoring networks, are united in disbelief. What centuries of earthquakes and storms have failed to accomplish has unfolded in hours. Instead of the usual vertical motion measured in millimeters per year, the coast has registered a sudden leap by feet across hundreds of miles. The ports stall. Tide pools, habitats for countless marine creatures, lie cut off and exposed, drying under the sun. Emergency meetings fill with government officials and scientists, all urgently poring over data, searching for overlooked clues and meeting only deeper uncertainty. Is this a catastrophic natural process, new and unknown to science? Is it a failure within the systems that measure and protect our coast? Or something stranger, lurking beneath the slow mechanics of tectonic plates and shifting Earth? If the instruments are wrong, trust in our ability to measure and predict collapses. If the readings are true, if the ground itself can jump so radically, what else is possible along the unsteady margin between sea and land? Chapter 1. California Coastline Monitoring Breaks Pattern California's intricate, ever-changing coastline has for decades been watched by a network of sensors, satellites, and scientists. Devices anchored in cities and built into the bedrock relay their steady flow of measurements to top research centers, from NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory to the US Geological Survey. This sprawling network underpins California's security and ambition, promising stability, prediction, and a coastline mapped to the centimeter. The rules of the coast are shaped by tectonics, the Pacific and North American plates, their boundaries sculpted by past earthquakes. Normally, land motion is glacial, so slow that a human lifetime might only see a few centimeters of change. GPS ground stations track shifts finer than the edge of a credit card. Satellite radar bounces signals off distant landscapes, revealing invisible deformations. Tide gauges record the perpetual negotiation between land and sea, correcting for daily and seasonal change, refining the big picture. All these data are rigorously checked and cross-referenced. Vertical land motion here is usually measured in millimeters, not feet. Yet the recent event blasted through these assumptions. Dozens of monitoring stations, reliable through earthquakes, storms and landslides, reported the same impossible surge. No earthquake was detected, 
No eruption or surface event could be found. Only the data. Elevation up. Baseline broken. An event unprecedented in living memory. If our most trusted tools can be misled so completely, where does that leave our confidence in any future warning? And if the readings are right, has something truly fundamental changed beneath California? Chapter 2 California Coast Uplift Data Confirmed When the first alarm came from a coastal GPS station, it was first considered a routine glitch. A cosmic ray disturbance, a burst of noise, a miscalibrated signal. Yet minutes later, the same leap surfaced at stations spanning from Monterey to Laguna Beach and up to the dramatic cliffs of Big Sur. NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory analysts retraced satellite orbits, reviewing raw downloads for the telltale signs of error. Atmospheric anomalies, misalignments or interference. Could a worldwide reference frame error, shifting the Cartesian structure that underpins geodesy, account for a six-foot jump? Teams drilled deep into the raw GPS log files, reviewing every variable. Phase coherence, antenna history, atmospheric models. Every avenue tested, every anomaly chased, and still the numbers held. Redundancy defines geodesy. If a shift appears in only one kind of instrument or measurement, it can be dismissed. Faced with this, scientists imported synthetic aperture radar, SAR data from satellites orbiting overhead. In SAR, phase coherence, checked across thousands of pixels, confirmed the vertical surge was consistent. Even old-fashioned spirit leveling, comparing historical tide markers on stone piers, revealed identical results. The land had risen together, not just locally, but for hundreds of miles. Common sources of error, multipath reflection, phase unwrapping, reference frame shifts, were methodically ruled out. The unlikely pattern remained. The event was not the artifact of an instrument, but a reality of the landscape. The data withstood every challenge. Redundant systems and post-disaster audits all converged on one conclusion. The land had lifted. The monitoring network, so carefully built to soothe public fears, had delivered a new kind of alarm. Could the coast really rise so quickly, so uniformly? And if it can, what force could drive it? <sighs> Chapter 3 California coast shifts have precedent. In California, change has always been shaped by time and weather. Landslides, subsidence, coastal erosion, all are well known, but they play out in increments of centimeters, rarely more. Before modern instruments, stories of shifting ground were matters for local memory and folklore. In the 1950s, the bluffs of Portuguese Bend, just south of Los Angeles, taught unforgettable lessons. In just seven months, the slope crept more than 22 feet, undermining homes. The storms of 2022 and 2023 intensified this narrative, reactivating slumbering landslides. Sensors in at-risk zones recorded ground movement at up to 30 centimeters per week, a rate far above historical averages. The conclusion, time and again, is that coastal uplift, when it happens, is localized and incremental, constrained by gravity and structural geology. Never has the coast risen together, by feet, simultaneously over hundreds of miles. Nothing in the documented past compares. Are there deeper, stranger forces lurking, still unknown beneath this familiar terrain? Chapter 4 California Coast Fault Lines Reanalyzed As researchers attempted to explain the sudden uplift, attention turned to the deep architecture of California's tectonic system. The familiar narrative centers on the San Andreas Fault. But beneath the coast lies a network of offshore thrust faults and fractured crustal blocks. Teams from the US Geological Survey, Caltech, Stanford, and NOAA began reviewing decades of seismic and GPS data, searching for a telltale pattern. A rupture, a slip, or a pulse of stress redistribution. They found nothing that aligned with the sudden uniform uplift. 
Attention then shifted offshore. Could a hidden thrust fault beneath the ocean floor have triggered a broad upward motion of the entire coastal block? Marine seismic records were reprocessed, but the coastline had risen evenly, with no deformation gradient, no hinge point, nothing that matched known tectonic behavior. It was as if the landmass had been lifted from below by a uniform force, like a platform rising, not a, not a crust being bent or broken. This was the most unsettling possibility of all. Not that the Earth had shifted along known weaknesses, but that something moved the crust as one piece. No current tectonic model accounts for that. Chapter 5 California Coast Emergency Response Mobilized Within hours of confirming the uplift, California's emergency response network activated at full scale. This crisis offered no blueprint. Nothing had collapsed. No smoke filled the sky. Yet every part of coastal infrastructure had shifted into dysfunction. Port authorities scrambled to recalculate shipping depths and pier alignments. Vessels that once entered smoothly at high tide now found themselves grounded. Meanwhile, marine biologists rushed to tide pool zones now exposed high above the waterline. Sea stars, urchins, mussels and anemones, life forms adapted to precise tidal rhythms, were dying in the open air. The scale of the loss dwarfed any rescue effort. Civil engineers were deployed to inspect seawalls, wastewater outlets, storm drains and pier foundations. Entire systems designed to meet the ocean had been orphaned above it. The land had changed, the coast had risen, and there was no guarantee it was finished moving. Chapter 6 California Coast Ports Paralyzed Overnight The consequences of this shift were immediate and severe. Port chaos unfolded as container ships in Los Angeles and Long Beach the linchpins of America's Pacific trade sat awkwardly beached. Cargo schedules fell apart, supply chains seized up, and confusion reigned. Cranes were silenced. The disconnect between sea and commerce was complete. Insurance analysts tallied multi-billion dollar impacts. Elsewhere, the ecological impacts grew clear. Tide pools, ancient homes for starfish and sea anemones stood marooned, exposed to air and heat. Teams mobilized rescue attempts, even as the scale of loss outstripped efforts. Environmental groups warned of not only financial disasters, but also of huge losses among native species. No disaster drill or insurance policy accounted for the land itself, receding from the sea. As shock gave way to concern, new fears emerged. Could further changes, upward or downward, follow? Chapter 7. California Coast Uplift Divides Scientists The search for explanations pitted institutions and experts against one another. If the elevation change was real, what could have caused it? If not, what did that imply about measurement and oversight? Within hours, ambiguity took hold. Private satellite analytics firms and federal scientists released dueling reports. Some presented confirmation of the uplift. Newsrooms seized upon the competing interpretations. For a moment, debate raged. Was it a breakthrough in observation or a catastrophic technical error? US government geologists cautioned against over-reliance on any single sensor type. Correspondence between agencies revealed deep divides over data calibration and the hierarchy of evidence. Rumors and speculation followed. Was the change triggered by secret military activity, unauthorized drilling, or unknown experimentation? Each new round of data and review further polarized the interpretation. For now, the event's meaning seemed determined as much by narrative and reputation as by science itself. Chapter 8. California Coast Uplift Has No Model Beneath the public debate, Teams of geoscientists worked furiously. Redundancy across instruments and methods yielded the same outcome. The land had lifted, in an event unlike anything in the historical record. This uplift bore no resemblance to any known tectonic process. There was no registered earthquake, no volcanic event, and no evidence of a major landslide at a sufficient scale. 
Even catastrophic events of the past could not compare in speed or spatial extent. Agencies responded with guarded statements. Some raw datasets were temporarily embargoed. As of now, no substantiated explanation has emerged. Neither conventional geology nor new physics offers an answer. What remains then, when evidence holds but explanation fails? Frustration. Chapter 9 Future of California Coastline Uncertain The days after the uplift stretched the patience of scientists, officials and residents alike. The boundaries of established knowledge, to say nothing of the reliability of prediction and emergency planning, stood deeply shaken. Around the state, the consequences grew. Reports accumulated of increasing numbers of stranded or dying marine animals delayed shipments, and mounting economic and ecological harm. Each review strengthened the case for reality over malfunction. As official updates trickled in, repeating only what could be cross-validated, the underlying anxiety persisted. A vertical motion event is ongoing, read the latest statements. The cause remains under investigation. The entirety of California's coastal civilization now sits in limbo. Questions crowd every conversation. Will the coast stay raised? Could it fall just as suddenly? What if the next change is larger or reaches further inland? In the cafes of Pacific Grove, on the bluffs of Santa Barbara, and in the hearing rooms of Sacramento, one question echoes. How can something so massive, so meticulously measured, happen without explanation? No historical notes, no peer-reviewed article, no forecast anticipates what comes next. If the coast keeps moving, or moves again, what happened has rendered old boundaries weak, demanding new understanding as swiftly as the shoreline reshaped itself. For now, the coast waits, lifted, unfamiliar and unsettled. Scientists, planners and Californians together face an unprecedented challenge, not just explaining a leap of land, but learning to live within the questions it leaves behind. If you've made it this far, you're part of the small percentage of viewers who actually follow the science, not just the headlines. Your perspective matters here. Make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications, because as this situation develops, updates will come fast and the mainstream coverage will not keep up. What do you think is really happening beneath the California coast? Is this tectonic, volcanic, atmospheric, or something scientists haven't seen before? Drop your theory in the comments. I'll be reading and responding.